Are you tired of getting smashed over and over by the same OP meta picks again and again? Yeah, bans exist, but sometimes there's too much to worry about in League. As a top laner, I personally like to ban champions in other roles like Yi or Draven so my team doesn't feed them and make them absolutely impossible to deal with later. Then I make myself responsible for whoever I have to lane against. But when you actually know how to counter it, even the most OP picks can be dealt with. Sometimes you get such a good counter matchup that it actually works in your favor to be against a pick that most people will never consider leaving unbanned. So, in this video, we'll be going over the runes, builds, and playstyles to effectively deal with some of the strongest, highest pick rate champs in the current meta for each role. That way, you'll have the game knowledge and confidence to deal with these OP picks. But before I do, I just want to take a minute to remind you that while meta videos and other content are a great way to pick up some quick tips, if you're super serious about improving, you should head over to ProGuides.com. Our coaching staff is made up of top-level players and they're available 24-7, so it's always a good time to stop by. And for just $7.99 a month, you can take your Pro Guides experience to the next level. Our premium sub gives you access to all of our courses and bootcamp content, and we'll even throw in a 10% coaching discount. If you're ready to take your gameplay to the next level, trust me, it's worth every penny. Now, let's get on with it. We'll be starting things out with Fiora as a counter to Dr. Mundo. The good doctor has become a really big problem this patch with Riot really trying their best to make him an unkillable monster once the game goes late. As a result, you really need a champion that specializes in killing beefy targets to deal with him. Fiora may have taken a bit of a hit from the Ravenous Hydra nerf this patch, but she's still one of the very best champions in that department. Divine Sunder and her passive allow her to be absolutely ripping through Mundo at all stages of the game. Usually, Mundo scales super well, even when he's not ahead. With his massive health pool, he's always a nice frontliner to have. But with Fiora, you can absolutely melt him in fights, so your allies don't get caught up dealing with him for so long. In a side lane, he's basically helpless to stop you in the later stages of the game, and you can pretty much take towers in his face. What people consider meta isn't necessarily just the super high win rate champs. It's also important to consider the champions that are super popular. If a champion has a really high play rate, having a very strong counter pick is still a good idea to help farm that free LP. Aatrox falls into that category. He's not all that great right now, overall he's just a bit above average, but still he can definitely snowball hard with an early lead so you want a good counter to him. And Darius is a very good option. Not only does Darius counter Aatrox hard, but it's also very easy to use him. A lot of Aatrox counterpicks are really skill matchups where you need to outplay him. But as Darius, you just commit to the all-in and go for the kill. You don't really have to worry about dodging anything if you're the one making the first move. Now, taking a look at the jungle, the first counter we have is Lilia into Ramus. This one is kind of a no-brainer. This last patch has made Ramus a complete monster, but everything about Lilia works against what Ramus wants to do. He's a tank that specializes in stacking HP and armor, and he usually entirely ignores picking up any MR aside from what comes from his mythic. As Lilia, this means you'll very easily be melting him in fights. You also counter his sticking power. Ramus isn't just a walking thorn male, he's really good at making picks thanks to his taunt and slows. Against other AP threats, this means he can at least help his team catch out the opponent, but Lilia counters him here too with her passive making it super easy to kite him and leave him feeling useless. The other jungle counter we have for you is Evelyn into Fiddlesticks. We've been saying it for what feels like forever now, but Fiddlesticks is one of if not the most elo inflating champion in League. Clear camps, ult, win the game. Invading him to slow him down isn't really an option since he's actually pretty strong in early 1v1s especially if you fight him where he can heal off of camps. Even if you focus on ganking lanes, he's usually able to turn around the game with a good ult or two. But Evelyn is perfectly able to bypass all of that. She's also a scaling pick, so his lack of early game presence gives you plenty of time to reach the point where you come online. You both spike hard at 6, but unlike Fiddle, who can only really gank with his ultimate, you can gank any time once you have your stealth. This allows you to start pressuring the map hard. Once you hit about 2 items or so, you can start to pressure the Fiddle too. Usually, Fiddle's effigies give him plenty of info on the enemy jungle and anyone invading him is susceptible to being killed by him if he lands an ult from the Fog of War. 
But his scarecrows can't see you as Evelyn, so you're free to invade and try to find him in the jungle. If you're the one making the first attack, you can easily one-shot him at this point in the game, leaving him with no chance to counter with his fear and drain. Now for the mid lane, the first thing we have is Akshan as a counter to Kassadin. The last patch saw Riot give Kassadin a so-called adjustment. While adjustments are supposed to be relatively power neutral, lately anytime a champion shows up under that section, they just end up being somewhere between super good and god tier. Kassadin being strong is never a good thing. He can very easily take a small lead and run with it the entire game. Thankfully, Akshan gives you everything you need to prevent that. You're able to constantly bully Kassadin in lane with your ranged autos and Q poke, and if he slips up even just a bit, you can very easily commit to an all-in with your E. Once you get a lead on Kassadin, you can look to roam elsewhere and snowball the rest of the map, so you can close out the game before he ever gets a chance to reach the late game. Just be careful that you don't roam too much. You still want to focus on keeping Kassadin down as well. The next champ we'll be looking to counter is Yasuo. Yasuo's stats aren't all that great. In fact, we usually have him somewhere between C and B tier depending on the patch. Still, he's a very popular champion and one that a lot of people seem to hate playing against. And for good reason. Even as a meh champ win rate wise, he's still snowbally and can feel impossible to win against in a bad matchup. But with Vladimir, you don't have to worry about much at all. It's worth noting that this is not the type of counterpick where you just win right from level 1. If anything, he beats you pretty hard in the early levels if you let him gap close. Just hang back and farm up, using Q to trade on him here and there. Once you get some levels and items, things start to swing your way. As your Q cooldown gets lower and it starts hitting harder, you'll begin bullying him in trades. Once you reach the mid game, any chance he has of beating you should be out the window. You beat him in 1v1s and in teamfights, you infinitely have more carrying power. Moving things down to the bottom lane, the first thing I want to say is that since it's a 2v2 lane, not every counter is as simple as lock in and win. There's the subjectivity of you and your counterpart having lane partners that can affect things. So take everything said here with a grain of salt. The first champion we'll be talking about countering down here is Caitlyn. Kate can be incredibly frustrating to deal with. Having the highest range obviously means she's going to win poke wars with anyone. It's also hard to find a window to go in on her. As a result, she bullies almost every single other AD carry in the laning phase with the exception of Jin. Now, like our last entry, this isn't a matchup where you can fight right away. If you try to all in Caitlyn right away, you're not going to have a great time. But after you get some levels and pick up some AD, the trades start to swing your way. And once you have Gale Force, you can easily force all ins every time the active is up. Ezreal is another one of the champions that falls into the super popular but not actually so good category. Even with him being not that great, he's still slippery and hard to punish. So while you win lane with some strong picks, it'll usually be just by out farming him, not by getting kills. And we all know the best way to carry is to snowball fast and hard. So we'll be taking Tristana into him. With Trist, Ezreal's arcane ship isn't enough to stay safe. You can jump in as early as level 2 and force big trades on him. By level 6, you should be able to kill him 100-0 when you play fights right. This may sound like I'm oversimplifying it too much, but really, as long as you and your support coordinate it, it's pretty easy to do. Now, to round things out with our supports, we'll first look at how to beat Morgana. Morgana is one of the most banned champions in the game, so clearly a lot of people hate playing against her. But there's really no reason to fear her so much. Morg is super easy to deal with when you pick mage supports. And Heimerdinger has been the best mage support in the game for quite some time now. Morg is left pretty powerless to do anything against him. You just keep shoving the enemy bot lane in and going for poke under turret with your W. As long as Morg is shoved in, it's much harder for her to fish for bindings with her Q, especially when you have your turrets to hide behind. If Morg tries to shield herself to walk in and ult, it's super easy for you to break her shield with your turrets and W, so you can then stun her with E and waddle away. Finishing off our list, we've got Renata Glask as a counter to Amumu. The little guy has really shot up this patch after his buffs that were supposed to be aimed at his strength as a jungler. This counterpick isn't so much about the laning phase as it is the team fighting, since that's where Amumu really shines. His ability to set up allies for a clean sweep is pretty hard for others to match, but even if he hits a massive ultimate, as long as you're able to get yours off, the enemy team will be completely unable to follow up. 
And that about wraps things up for our 1223 counter picks. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you can really use at least one of these picks in your games. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can always be a step ahead of the meta. If there are any other OP meta picks that you just can't deal with, be sure to let us know down in the comments section and maybe we'll feature it in our next video. And one last thing, don't forget to check out our Discord in the description box below where you can discuss League further or just hang out and be a part of our community. I can't wait to see you guys back for the next video, but until then, good luck on the Rift and may the LP God smile down upon you.